Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I did not see that one coming. You've been watching me durability test smartphones for about 11 years now, and most phones do not break. iPhones especially do not break, like ever, and that snap was abnormally quick. Kind of stunned. I'm not sure if it's because the grade 5 titanium frame has nearly three times more tensile strength than aluminum, or half the elasticity, but the glass did not like being pressed or flexed by my thumb. That's crazy. On the first bend, too. Internally, the phone itself is doing fine, of course. There's no cracking or shattering of the frame. But the back glass is definitely obliterated. Good thing Apple made the glass modular, so it only costs 200 bucks to replace instead of 500 But still... If I was a person who just purchased a $1,200 titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max, I would be extremely nervous right now. Anyway, I did not plan on that happening, but you gotta admit, the crack looks pretty cool. The Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max does not survive my durability test, which means it's time for the big boy lighter. The PVD coating is already an imitation blue, which would make any actual bluing of the titanium frame very difficult to see. But if we sand it down and expose some bare titanium, we might be able to see if Apple's Grade 5 reacts the same way as my Grade 5. That's some pretty good looking brush titanium. Still not sure why it takes Apple 14 hours. I'm using a MAP gas torch, which I think, along with burning my 